Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another mod showcase on the channel with me, KD Minecraft, and my beautiful horse, Hannah. Yes, we are back looking at another mod and running you through what this mod is about and what it does. And for today, we have Druidcraft. So I'm going to be running you through everything this mod has to offer from mobs, blocks, creatures, and, you know, structures, all the good stuff, guys. And so make sure to stick around for the whole... Load. That's a creeper. That's how to start an episode. Whoa! No, that was not good. I knew there was one hiding in my house somewhere. Ah, well. That ha it happens. It happens. Well, as long as... Oh, Hannah, no. Hannah, Hannah, no. No, come, come back here. So this is the professional way of, obviously... How to start an episode. You stay there. We don't want you running off now. What are you guys all doing roaming around this place? It's uneasy as well. Stuff it. We're putting on peaceful for now. Well, as I was saying, we are looking at a mod called Druidcraft today. It's not a super popular mod. It is for 1.15.2. When I say not super popular, that is because it is still in alpha. So there is a lot still left. Uh, for this mod to expand on and I'm actually very excited for it and that is why I have highlighted this mod as a good upcoming mod I feel like you guys should keep your eye on indeed so let's get into it uh, Hannah where should we start you're right with the wood all right so this mod offers two new tree types so the dark wood this is different to the dark oak or spruce you get and then over here we have the elder wood so these are the two new types of trees and these are the blocks you're getting from them so you're getting the standard trees and then you get some logs planks uh steps fences gates and doors you're getting all the good stuff guys you're getting a lot more as well and this mod has added in a lot more bricks and i'll tell you what i'm going to change on game mode because then i can run you through it in uh survival a bit, or creative rather a bit better so you can see here the different ones they've added in dark wood planks is a new one uh where is it is it plank no sorry all the stuff are along here there we go and then we've got bits like this you've got beams they've added in beams which i think is really cool it doesn't the texture isn't too different to what the logs are guys and they've also added in planks here yeah uh panels and stuff so here you go you can tell from the top like this from their pattern so you, you're walking along you're not only a keen eye i'd say a uh, quick glance you walk along and go, do, 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 wait a second there's a difference and this is for both the tree types and they have added it in for all the other vanilla trees as well from you know standard minecraft and another sick thing that i absolutely love that they've added in guys i love this i love these okay so they've added in uh beams as uh, birch beams and oak beams and everything i love these like you you can go to town for days with these they look super awesome the and like the cross beaming cross hatching on here to keep them in place it looks like they've been tied up it is awesome i absolutely love this this mod isn't even for like this isn't even the main aspect of this mod the main aspect of this mod druidcraft as you could imagine is to do with spells crafting and all of that sort of good stuff but just for these bits i would have this mod anyway downloaded just because of how cool these things are and too bad it's not for 1.12.2 because i would add this to my mod pack because it looks it just adds a lot of cool stuff to it guys and i can't wait as i said for the updates they're going to be phenomenal so here you go take a quick look at the elder wood around here this is what the elder wood trees look like this is how they get spawned in like this with the extra logs around the bottom so yeah there you go you get don't see there you go yeah you get the gist with that 
So another aspect. Oh, hello, butterfly. This is something else that's in. This is a moth. Oh, it's a moth, rather. So, uh, Letha Luna Moth. There we go. Yeah, so there's quite a few of those guys flying around the place, and I'll run you through those later. There's also crates that have been added in, which look awesome, and a heck of a ton of storage space. You've got small crates, medium crates. Uh, it doesn't give you an option for the size of crate. Uh, if I remember correctly, it just says crate, but this is how the crate is crafted. So it's going to be potluck to what you get, but use all the different woods. There you go. You get the gist, guys. You love it. So as I'm sure you saw when I was flicking through that, there are armor sets to this mod as well. So let's get to it. So these are the new ores that have been added in with the Druidcraft mod, guys. You got amber ore, you got moonstone ore, you got fiery glass ore, and you got rock root ore. And all these obviously get crafted into their own blocks. This is what the actual ingots sort of look like, or the ores rather. So this is what they're all like. They look awesome. And the fiery glass one does actually add some light. So if I took all this away, it dims the room, so oh, I might as well do it. So there you go, you see, dims the room, it does add some light to it. And this one, not sure if you can tell, there you go, it's sort of see-through. Very, almost opaque. So there you go, lovely, lovely little bit there, I love that detail. Didn't need to be done, but they did, and I like it, I like it a lot. And yeah, you're going to use some of these to craft some armors which is going to be great but you're also going to use a lot of these to craft some spells when they add that in with this mod now as i was saying with the butterflies this is what you can do with them or the moss rather you can capture them in glass bottles so here you go and they just look pretty cool not gonna lie they just look cool that is pretty much the gist for it also quick side note this mod adds hemp yeah nifty so here are the current sets of armor added in this mod you have the bone armor and then you have the chitin i want to pronounce that correctly and then you have the moonstone which is crafted from obviously the moonstone or you get the gist so the bone armor is the weakest then it goes to the chitin chitin and then it's the moonstone which is the strongest so here we go we also get um all of their armor and tool sets so you get bone sword shovel pickaxe axe hoe and a sickle which is a nice addition and you also get a pretty cool shield so let's get this out there we go let's turn around do i look pretty cool i love i just love the look of this it looks it looks awesome it just looks awesome love it love it love it love it love it all right so let's see let's go to the crafting recipe for you this is how to craft the shield i'll run you through how to craft the other bits later so and now i have to craft the sickle it's like this there you go you know how to do the rest don't need to run you through that there's also a knife which is made like that very simple first off tool uh used to configure rope blocks so there you go ropes which is another aspect we can look at later. But let's add this back in here for now. So the chitin armor is actually gathered from a mob we will be exploring later, one of the only mobs in this game, but it does give you some pretty cool armor and of course a nifty shield, which I don't know what's my favorite shield, guys. I want you to let me know in the comment section down below what armor set you prefer and what, yeah, just what armor set you prefer and what tools and shields you prefer. What do you think looks coolest? I'm really torn between them all. It is, I've been trying to decide for the video and going, oh, what one do I prefer? I honestly, I honestly don't know. Okay, so we also have the moonstone stuff as well. So this is how you make the moonstone shield, just like that, iron, and then you've got some moonstone there. And then I probably should just quickly show you this. There you go, so iron nugget, and then some chicken there. So let's go back over here. So as you can see, obviously the most powerful, and uh, I, it's not my favorite shield. I'm not gonna lie, not my favorite shield. Doesn't look the coolest, I will say. But it is the strongest stuff. So we also have sword, shovel, pickaxe, and all that good stuff, and obviously another sickle. 
done like that, done like the rest. This is a grade above diamond, guys. So view it like that. This is a smidge above diamond. Not massively stronger, but it is a little bit. So it is worth the go for. But today, I'm going to go for this one because just now I've decided I prefer this because I want to look like a super duper cool bug. So there we go. Can't argue with it. I'm going to get out the Moonstone Sword. Let's do this. Let's throw that over there. And let's get that here. So do I look dope or what? I think I look pretty damn sick. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back downstairs now. All right. Uh, let's go throw that there. Okay. So what else do we have to look at? Well, we have some food. Yes. Yes, we do. Uh, we have some blueberries, elderberries. Elderflower, which can be made into elderflower cordial, which is a rather lovely drink, I must say. We also have blueberry muffins, which obviously, blueberries made just like this. And then we also have elder, was it elderberry apple, elderberry crumble. There we go, I could pronounce it eventually, just like that. So guys, this mod has added in all this as of now. These are the flowers you can see, so the blueberry ones. And then this is also lavender, which you're gonna use for spell crafting and potions. As soon as that's released, I'm gonna be running you guys through how to do all of that. So don't you fret about that. But I know what you're thinking. What else is there to offer? Well, you can actually make bricks out of dirt, guys. I know, mental. I know, a bit crazy. So let me show you this. So we've got the wet one, and then, oh, I think this is the dry one. And then we've got the wet one. I've got to say, it's actually quite a cool texture. It is actually pretty nifty looking. I like it. It does sort of look like actual bricks. If you could get like different color variations of this, that would be even better. Like red. I don't know. I just, I'm just thinking of red bricks. It just would look cool to me. I know you don't really get red mud, but I don't know. Think of something. Okay. So we can also have these. They call them bed rolls, but they're a sleeping bag so that's what i'm going to call them sleeping bags so you can use these you can have them around and you can place them down and you're going to use these to sleep in uh obviously uh, uh you can yeah use these to sleep in and it's not going to set your spawn point to this place and you'll see you can pick it back up or whatever so yeah destroy pick it back up blah 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 you get the drift you craft them just like this pretty easy guys no sweat to it really so it is some nifty stuff you also get some lovely added features such as a ceramic lantern made just like this um, and then you also have obviously well I say obviously you've got a wood color you've got some rope you can use to go up and down some things mainly just down to be honest and then you also have this lamp of growth which i did have outside the front until that creeper exploded it and pretty much what this is going to do is going to grow plants and baby animals near it within the 5 by 5 by 5 area so it's going to help the growth and the progression of any animals or plant life you have that you really want to grow quick uh place one of these bad boys down not too hard to get you're going to be able to get some of this fairly easily Blade powder is probably the hardest thing there to get. Just trade like with some villagers for the rest of the stuff. And the forest, this sort of forest, isn't hard to come by, guys. You should be good. Whoa! Hello! He he hello, traveler! Trade llama! Hello, wandering trade! Hello! What are you doing here? Do you have. Oh, this is. You've really thrown a spanner in the works. Can I scroll down? No, no, that's as far as your list goes. Why would I want the compressed ice? No. I'll, I will trade you this and this. Give me stuff. No, you know you want that. You know this is a moonstone shield, don't you know? Trailer, hello, trader llama. Hello. Can I have your llamas? They're pretty cool. Oh, I've got really distracted. Really, really distracted. So let's get out the mobs from this mod. So here we go. Let's get this out and then let's get this out. So this stuff's all going to come in handy later down the line when we're going to be using spells and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, we'll cover that another time. But here we go. Got the moths. 
running and flying around rather they are beautiful they are passive they are pretty easy to kill as well and capture so no real threat here they're just pretty nifty next up we have an actual aggressive mob so we'll have to take it off this so let's go down here and uh, as of the moment it doesn't say specifically where you can find these so i'm presuming you can find the dreadfish anywhere but to me it makes more sense it be well hello excuse me do you do you go on land apparently so mr dreadfish doesn't mind the land he's a fan of it in fact so yeah lovely lovely stuff you're gonna want to watch out for these guys they're, they're shifty they are shifty it doesn't say specifically where you can find these guys so i'm i'm going swamp biomes or the dark wood biomes that is that is my guess that is my guess uh, I haven't come across any when I was doing a wander through the world, so that's what I'm guessing right there. Final mob today we have is the beetle, which you're going to get all that sick armor from. So as you can see, look, there you go, he's looking pretty cool. He's already coming at me. So I'll tell you what, he's got 40 HP. I'm going to change on game mode, and we're going to give this guy a little battle. Okay, so here we go. Let's do it. Maybe I'm going to turn the sounds up just to see if he makes any cool sounds. Okay, hey bro, hey bro, whoa, dude, dude's really aggressive, he is, he's strong as well, okay, you, you, whoa, you stay, you stay, you stay there, Mr. Beetle, just, just stay there, just, just hold, I can, whoa, stop, whoa, no need, no need, he's luckily not doing much damage to me, because of my armor, uh, because, yeah, I've got pretty good armor on, well, I'm wearing his skin, I'm not gonna lie, maybe that's why he's so angry, he's like, you're wearing the skin of my family, uh, well, there you go, so I got two chitin from there, I think it's, the drop count is between one to five, so that's the drop possibility, so, yeah, it's not too bad, and, yeah, you're gonna, obviously, craft these, how you're gonna craft normal armor, so, you're gonna need to kill a few of those guys, uh, they're quite tough. They are well. Sh I say they've got. I say tough. They've got a lot of HP. Is that? That's all I mean by that. They're not like an iron golem that's going to actually launch you into the air. But just watch out for them. I'm still. This arm is still fairly good. It's still fairly good. Well, there we go, guys. That is it for Druidcraft. That is a pretty cool mod. I'm excited to see the progression of this. The detail in this mod already for me is great. I love the new ores added in. I, I love the new structural uh, items that have come with this mod, guys. It really makes makes it for me, to be honest. And I can't wait to see what they continue to update with this mod. So I'm going to keep my eye on this one. I recommend you guys do that too. But give it a download. Let me know what you think about it, guys. As always, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, see ya.